hi welcome back to my channel i have another pick a card reading this pick a card reading will be what are they hiding that you may not know about about the connection um whether it's another person whether it's just what are, what are their feelings that they're hiding for you so we're just gonna like kind of like get kind of nosy so i have three piles of shoes from today the first pile will be the cellulite clear the clutter second pile will be the sunstone take pleasure in the things you do third pile will be this angel light support is all around you so use your intuition the best that you can and i'll see you at your reading hello pal one welcome to your reading this will be what your person is hiding from you um so yeah what is pal one's person hiding that they might not know about what is pal one's person hiding what is pal one's person hiding Be hiding how manipulative they are like person could probably do a lot of things to get their way in relationships and outside of relationships queen of pentacles They're watching you though. They're definitely watching you for this pal. Or definitely, what are they hiding? That they could be spying on you. Still searching you up. Like you could be in their search bar on Instagram or whatever, whatever social media is like. They're still watching you somehow where it's secretive, like to where you won't find out. Yeah, definitely they don't want you to find out. Um, this person could have broken your heart is what I'm thinking for this power pop one. Or at least said something that broke you, that broke your heart about something that you may have wanted in a relationship. Or maybe you guys just weren't seeing eye to eye with the five of swords. They didn't literally mean to break your heart. Some of you, they did mean to break your heart because you're in this queen of pentacles energy. You're very beautiful. You're very stunning. You're very... You could be just very materialistic about what you like you want nice things and this person could take it the wrong way as if like you're conceited but it's like even if you are it's none of their business right so it's like i feel like you should just be more confident because the more the confident you are the more pissed off i think this person will be and coming from like a love interest i kind of don't like this energy because they're supposed to be like boosting you up but i feel like for the most part for you guys what they're hiding is that they could just be hiding that they're obsessed with you like they're you're probably obsessed with yourself in like a good way like you know that you look very beautiful you know your worth um but it's like they're obsessed with you in the same way like they're into your looks they think you look very like magnetic but at the same time it's like they're hiding how much they're infatuated with you because they're very infatuated with you like this person is very very infatuated with you whether it's a picture you recently posted or any picture you post is very like beautiful to them very like this person is like it's kind of like they have a manipulative way when it comes to like this connection because it's like they want you to fall for them but it's like they don't want you to see that they're falling too or that they fell harder or something like that like this person is hiding for you probably it's like they're hiding their emotions and yeah, it's like they're hiding their feelings. Um, I'm not really kidding. They're, they're hiding how much feelings they do have for you. Like, I'm just, like, picturing, like, yeah. 
because maybe you're very materialistic or you just like nice things you like gifts um you like to be spoiled financially probably is what i'm getting because he looks like he's working very hard and it looks like she's like already worked really hard for her stuff so i don't know if it's like you this person could feel like yeah what they're hiding us as well is that they're hiding like their feelings which is that i feel like i'm the, the main feeling that i'm getting is jealousy ouch like the main feeling i'm getting from your person right now is jealousy whether that's because you're getting attention or because you're you don't have to work hard for your money maybe you do something that's artistic or you do something that's just like easy work you don't like to work hard maybe for some of you or you already have worked hard and they don't see this part they only see what you know you choose to show them which is your business but i feel like this person is basically wants to be on your business another thing they're hiding is that they want to be nosy because i was getting a spying energy with the five of swords and this energy is giving me like they're spying they want to get information on how for some of you they there's they're hiding how much they're like <laughs> being nosy like this person is nosy and but maybe they come off cold so i'm not sure i'm not getting that they're hiding another person they're hiding how jealous they are and for some of you this is not just a, romant a romantic partner these are friends as well friends that around you that could be really jealous um and they try their hardest with the five of they probably do a really good job of showing you and not showing you how jealous they really are about certain success or like a certain amount of attention that you may get so let me get what are they hiding another card what are they hiding from you yeah they're hiding how like look how this because this part card always gets me with how he's looking in the back how he's like this person wants to like either if this is a not a love interest but if this is like a friend or friends with benefits this person definitely wants to kind of like take your place or they're just watching your every move like they might have a burner account why did i say burner account they might have like a yeah they could have like a spy account um account with zero zero followers or they make sure they follow some people to make i don't know it's like this person is keeping like tabs on you somehow even if this person has cut you out of their life it's like this person desperately what they're hiding from you as well is that they desperately want attention from you so it's like they they want you to kind of like stalk them they want you to go out of your way to message them to call them um to give them attention or this person just hiding the fact that they want to be they want to be showered with attention but it's like the opposite is happening. Like they have to usually shower you with attention or they feel like they're just going out of their way to do certain things for you. And it's like, I'm just getting jealousy. Like what they're hiding from you is like the jealousy that they feel in this connection or because you cut them out of this connection or because of like suitors like admiring you while they're with you or they know you have other options. There's something with like jealousy or they're jealous of like your success. So it's different. Or for some of you, it's all of it. Like you need to cut some people out of your circle or just watch how they speak to you how they act around you like i feel like this person does little blatant things though but you don't either you don't choose to see it or you're too busy to see it but i think if you like try to pay attention to like your friends or your love interest it'll kind of like show because it's like hard for you like sometimes it's like it's hard to it's really hard to hide your true feelings if you if you want me to be honest it's hard it's hard to hide your true feelings so i feel like it will come out every now and then like the jealousy will come out every now and then whether it's they get angry or they do little things to like try to hurt you or say little things to try to hurt you i feel like this person just can't help it because you're you're either you're just or it could they could be hiding the fact that they're watching you work really hard or they're kind of or they're hiding the fact that they're upset that they can't watch you work really hard because this person might want to copy you I feel like a lot of friends around you yeah because with this card i'm getting friends and love interest or maybe a lot of times you have to leave your love interest behind i'm not sure because they can be a little bit like possessive over you they want you to stay in the house they want they don't want you they might want to check your phone 
you get a little bit a lot of love interest like that and i feel like this person even if they're acting cold they're true and like they're what they're hiding from you is that they put they have these tendencies inside of them as well but they're trying to like play it cool so you don't like run off this person wants to get you to fall so that you like i don't want to say like that but i heard like so that you can be their victim as in like you'll already be in love you already have feelings so it's like this person can treat you however they want to treat you the person likes control like what they're hiding is that they love and they like and they need control to feel secure because you're the queen of pentacles they could be the even if they're the knight of cups energy it's like they're still not the king of cups they're they're still learning their feelings and how to deal with them when they like a person or when they admire or fancy a person it comes off a little toxic like i said they they don't know how to control their jealousy or they can only control it from a like i don't know it's like this person then the four of cups so they could be hiding that they don't want anybody but you the four of cups is about options that they don't want he looks really not he looks like this could be also be content or this person could just be like lazy not lazy but this person probably doesn't really want to work hard for you or as hard as you so they're like jealous like i don't it's giving me like this person doesn't want anybody else but they might show off their options to you or they might just run off to other options because you're they're insecure like i'm getting an insecure energy from this pal their energy is very insecure like what they're hiding is their insecurities their feelings their jealousy their possessiveness um then this person had they're also hiding that they have an anger problem some of you but they come off like smooth on the outside they're out of appearance they could dress really nice um they could talk really nice they have a very soothing voice but i feel like underneath the surface like their core is like ruptured or they have like difficulties with their true feelings um when they love a person or they like a person or when they're inspired by a person because i'm getting like even if this is friends or love and trust they feel more so inspired so this might be why they want to copy you a lot or they want to like control you a lot or this person wants to like as like they're looking at like i don't know it's like you're i don't know they're really possessive they're really, really possessive power one so the full card it could be an aries we got the page of pentacles so um they could learn a lot from you and this could be intimidating especially this is a masculine energy and you're feminine um they could also feel like what they're hiding from you is that they don't feel like they're as abundant as you when it comes to like being genuine or being authentic yeah what they're hiding from me is that they don't feel like they can be authentic to their true self as much as you are often authentic to your true self like you so you basically just some of you guys you know what i mean by that but it's just like you basically you're not easily influenced and you don't really follow the crowd maybe or if not that it's like you tend to follow your intuition a lot of people reject their intuition or don't trust it and i feel like they are trying to figure out how you just go with the flow of things and how you don't let difficult times with the five of pentacles like break you down this person could be very like um fragile and you don't know this that they're hiding that they're very fragile and very sensitive and very like discouraged when it comes to like certain opportunities especially in love with the knight of cups like they could be very like discouraged when it comes to love and finances probably because i did see the night yeah they could be very like yeah because they could overthink a lot of things and you probably just more so go with the flow i'm not really sure with the full card and they're just trying to like they're just watching you kind of like glow up basically so what they're hiding is how much they like keep tabs on you and watch you reach every level of potential with the is that the seven of pentacles eight of pentacles yeah above the six of wands all about like forward movement having being brave enough to like go your own path because it looks like the behind that looks like they're following each other but it's like it looks like he's going his own path and it's like made him very successful so i feel like what's hiding what they're hiding is that 
you inspire them basically but they're taking it the wrong way i think or they feel they at least feel like they need to hide this from you i don't know why maybe they feel like they'll feel less than if they kind of like put you on this pedestal but you're already like on a pedestal you put yourself on a pedestal which is which is good but um i think this person just what they're hiding is how obs like how obsessively they probably think about you as well and, and keep having a check up on you this probably person probably checks your socials like every month if not every week you know what i mean like this person is like obsessed with seeing you break down different barriers in your life pile one so whether it's a love interest or friends but some of you it's both so that's what i have for you pile one if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post hello pile two so if you chose um the sunstone take pleasure in the things that you do this will be what your person is hiding from you so let's see oranges and reds always make me go towards like a sexual deck but i think i might go towards a sexual deck just to see like any additional messages or something this person hiding seven of pentacles what is this two person hiding moon okay so yeah there is something here they're hiding tower well what is this two person hiding I saw the strength card, but it, it um, flipped back into the deck. Whoa. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna just do one sexual card. What is Pals 2? They could be a Libra. You don't have to be. Or you're a Libra. Or Cancer Emperor. Emperor. Where are they hiding? Hmm. It could be Aries. It could be a Leo. It could be any fire sign. I, I told y'all I saw the strength card, but I guess it wanted to come back out. <laughs> yeah, it could be any fire sign. Are they upset at you? They could be hiding out how pissed off they are. Could be an Aquarius. This person could be really mad. And you don't yet because the emperor and the strength. This person could be really mad. Like this person, what they're hiding from you. Hold on, let me just get the whole spread. Because I'm like. Hmm. I'm getting like, okay. Could be an Aquarius, okay. So, because I wanted to come out again. Flipped out. And we got the two of cups. So this person could be really, really mad. Um, Pile two. And this is something that you don't really know that they're keeping that they're hiding from you but this person can't keep it in for long because this is a ten of wands underneath the t the tower card oh my god look at the end of the day <laughs> so this person could be really upset um or this person could be really really like sexually frustrated or both for some of you it's both for some of you it's just they're angry for some of you they're sexually frustrated and angry um yeah, definitely could be an Aries or Aquarius um, energy. Don't really have to be, but I'm getting for majority of you guys. It's some Aquarius and some Aries and somebody's chart or both. If not sun, yeah, because somebody is a sun something um, or a moon something like that. Um, but what they're hiding are definitely like feelings, <laughs> whether it's sexual or it's angry feelings like feelings of frustration feelings of like friction feelings of like a blockage somewhere is what i'm getting it might be a blockage somewhere then we got the two of cups so this definitely could be like a soulmate 
that you're inquiring about somebody or it could be a friend it's all about compromise oh somebody wants to come to a compromise about something but i feel like this person take pleasure in the things that you do this person probably is hiding the fact that you're so that they're angry that you're so happy about being single now for some of you guys or yeah for some of you guys this could have been like a you know friends with benefits you guys have very like a deep connection here um but i feel like you one of you guys probably chose to like venture off not to be completely single some of you guys you guys want to be completely single from this person but some of you guys it's just a break um to find yourself or to find your emotions but what they're hiding is that they are not liking this separation it could have been a, like a huge fight or just a huge disagreement or for some of you guys you chose to agree to disagree and it's kind of pissed them off because they wanted you to fight for this yeah this person wanted you to fight for this like they didn't expect you to agree to disagree because maybe you guys get into altercations a lot or you guys this person likes to get you upset or likes to like i don't know likes to have make things difficult for you or something or this person just likes to get your attention in that way or something like that it's like they like to like not pick fights with you necessarily but it's just they like to like change your perspective and make you it's like they like to get their way where it's like they want you to see their way and usually i think you like fall for it you'd be like okay yeah you are right about this and that but i feel like for this time you chose to like keep your ground or to stand your ground and to agree to disagree and to like move on and do something that you take pleasure in doing with this card take pleasure in the things you, that you do definitely and i think it it was something that made you really really happy subconsciously you knew that i would make you happy and you like finally it was hard to do but you finally chose to like i don't know heal yourself in some way so i don't know if it was like you began you began to heal and like go through a better karmic cycle after you left this person or not even for some of you guys you didn't leave this person it's just you're doing more things independently don't mean that you guys aren't in a relationship or that this person isn't your soulmate and you can't still hang out with them and you know have sex with them and have a sexual union a bond with them but it's just like you're doing more things where you don't need this person you're not so codependent anymore you're not so you know you don't run for them to rescue anymore you're more so like getting in more in touch with your intuition with these two cards like you're getting more in touch with your femininity where you you're trusting yourself more you're trusting your gut more and i think that's putting you more better positions and this is really making them upset um not in a selfish way but i feel like it's making them upset it's definitely make, making them upset that you're like choosing yourself first but it's not like i don't think this person wants to harm you and like try to like this person could have tried to put a lot of sticks in your path though i'm not gonna lie or try to get into your head because they wanted they love you this person could love you pal too what they're hiding from you is that they they did certain things to make you stay because they they are they love you this person loves you this person is in love with you probably and they did a lot of things i'm not thinking that they did it to harm you but i i think they just did a lot of things they just want you to like what they're hiding is that they want you to see their point of view of why they like i don't know maybe this person truly though didn't see your point of view like the both of you guys could just like the way the star looks like i could look at a star and you can look at a star and we could see two it could mean two completely different things to the both of us you know what i mean so i think this person just you guys just see a lot of things differently and i feel like instead of being scared of like seeing it your way i think you will always choose this person's point of view instead of your own i feel like you just recently started to like see things in your own light and see things in your own perspective i feel like you were very scared at first but i feel like it's making you so happy and you're taking a lot of pleasure in these things of like seeing the world or seeing different things in your own point of view so i feel like this energy right here that we're like what they're hiding is that their feelings of being like angry and a bit jealous and a bit frustrated um they could even be sexually frustrated if you aren't having a sexual union with them as much as you used to i'm not saying for some of you guys you didn't completely cut it off but some of you guys you completely cut it off and they're like infuriated 
that they don't have like this a certain leverage over you and with you like they don't have a certain you know connection with you anymore because you kind of took that away because you're putting that time into yourself um yeah you're definitely doing but you still you still value this person though the two of cups you guys definitely still have a bond though something that's very very deep it might not ever go away but it's like you chose you chose the hard route i feel like it's still hard maybe still think about this person from time to time you might even go back i'm not saying this person's a bad person you should i feel like you for some of you guys you still want to pursue a relationship with the two of cups and you guys still will like be in a relationship but it's just the fact that your your own you're figuring out that you're your own individual person and that's okay it doesn't mean that you guys are fighting yeah i think you started to see that it's not arguments you guys aren't fighting maybe this person still thinks it's like fighting and it's an argument and that it's a breakup yeah for some of you they think it's a breakup but for you it's just like a new chapter with a wheel could be but you want them to come along still but they're being a little bit stubborn with the emperor card. Yeah, they're being stubborn. Um, and what they're hiding from you is that they could also be hiding from the fact that they're actually proud of you. Like they're, they could be hiding the fact that they're actually shocked that you are doing things all by yourself and that you're so independent with the strength card and that you're controlling your emotions more. Cause maybe you guys did actually fight a lot and um, they're surprised at how mature you're becoming you're becoming very very mature like you're growing up basically like what they're hiding is that they're angry but they could also you know they can't help but feel proud and i feel like it's helping them also to look at their own individual like independence when it comes to like moving forward in life with the star card it's all about your life's purpose so i feel like you decided to like do your own thing basically this is like a deeper way of like this whole pile is like a deeper way of like basically you, you're gonna do you regardless like just to cut this like reading short you decided to do you like so it's like they have no choice but to do them even though they want to do you like <laughs> like actually want to like screw you do you but it's like they see that you have other things you need to take care of right now and this could actually frustrate them make them sexually frustrated make them angry but it's like they're all in the same sense they're like up and down because they're still proud it's like they they always knew you had like courage in you you were special and this is why they love you so much it's because you are very encouraging power one my phone's always gonna always about to die in these readings in one of these powers but um uh yeah they're just hiding the fact that they yeah they could be hiding the fact that they're so angry and upset that you you know leave them they don't that you just simply don't have as much time as you used to and they don't because the reason why they're hiding this pile too is because they don't want you to think that they don't want you to they don't want you to go though but it's like they don't want to seem selfish basically like these feelings can come off of it selfish and they know this so this is why they're hiding this they got the full card and they definitely don't want you to um it's like in reverse they definitely don't want you some um move forward they still want to have some type some type of like genuine time with you they love spending time with you this person probably just is upset that you haven't given them time with the blue card it's all about time so they could feel like you don't give them a much even give them attention anymore They could have had like another option now they feel but the hiding is that they feel like angry that they even had other options because now you're probably with the six of swords you're probably too much out of reach or you're talking to somebody new like you decided to pick another option or yeah you decided to disagree you I decided to agree to disagree like you this person probably yeah like i said they're very stubborn so they probably didn't want to change their ways and as soon as you they had a tower moment for sure they're probably hiding the fact that they had a big ass tower moment like you shocked them they probably don't want you to see that they're like saddened they're burdened by this they're surprised yeah they don't want you to know how shocked they are they want to seem unbothered basically they want to seem really really unbothered but the truth is they're very fucking bothered 
by how you chose to play your cards they're very bothered the person definitely wants to have like probably wants to come and say sorry or they want to have like a genuine talk and a fuck session probably like this person wants to express a lot of things a lot of emotions a lot of fears i feel like this person is yes what they're also hiding pile too is that they're fearful that they're going to leave you because it's all about fears dreams they could have even had a dream that they were going to leave you someday but that you were going to excuse me that the, you were going to leave them someday or maybe you had a dream that they were going to leave you so that's probably why i said that but yeah no it's about dreams fears so maybe you had a vision that they were going to leave you or a dream that they were going to leave you or you were going to, it's something, or this person had a dream that you were, that this was going to come to an end and they got scared. Um, or they just had like an epiphany that this was always going to happen anyways. You were going to like someday get tired of like always, I don't know. Kind of like, because the emperor is like all about, like they want submission and you probably were tired, not tired of it, but it's like you wanted, you got bored of it or you did get tired of it or, I don't know. Kind of like they were sucking you dry or like overwhelming you with how much, it's like you almost became them because you guys became one almost maybe. Maybe you, it's like a deep soul connection where you almost thought you were, like this person's thoughts were your thoughts at one point and you were just tired of like not thinking for yourself because you guys are so intertwined. Cause you could be an empath um and it's kind of like you absorb a lot of things so it's like certain things you would just like absorb their reality and like your reality will become their reality when you wanted your own reality maybe but you still want to be with this person you still love this person you just don't want them to suck you dry i feel like for you what would be healthy is if you take certain if you take breaks every now and then it's okay to take breaks, but I feel like with the Emperor card, like what they're hiding is that they don't want to take breaks because this person feels like every time you guys take breaks, which is selfish to think this way, but what they're hiding is that they feel like every time you got, when every time you pull away, there must be like somebody, like another option that's making you do this. They don't like your energy pulling away from them. They feel like you're either unsafe. This person probably just wants to protect you and smother you and that was just too much for you, Pao to. But you just know this person's the one. It's just they're so the energy is coming up as the empress. They're so like, like you know the emperor vibe. Like they're so like demanding and like fatherly and like they just want to protect you and hold you to the point. Where, it's like that um, overly um, protective father vibe is what I'm getting from this pile. Yeah, like that overly protective father that doesn't let you do anything. It doesn't let you see anything. Like, they just want to protect you from the world. And I feel like for you, it just got too much. It was just too much. So you just agreed to disagree and like kind of like probably going to get tattoos now. You're just doing a lot of like probably cut your hair off, probably just being bold. You probably have like, you know, you're dating or something. You're just doing something that's pissing them off though. I would tell you they, they're hiding the fact that they're like bothered. Like they're, <laughs> they're really bothered by your actions lately, basically. That's what I have for you, Pao Tzu. If it did resonate, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next post. Hello, Pao 3. So if you chose the Angelite, support is all around you. This will be what your person is hiding from you, which you may not know about, whether it's another person or just their feelings. Person could be a Virgo or a Gemini, or you're a Virgo or a Gemini. Could be a Capricorn. Or they kind of feel that they want to trap you. So I don't know if it's baby or I don't know how they want to trap you. Marriage. It could be a Gemini or any sign because I always like look at these. So that gives me like any sign here. Um, I 
could be hiding from Paul. Okay. Could be a Leo. You guys have the same sun placement. There could be a third party, so they definitely, for this part, they probably are hiding another person. Or like a friend with benefits that you don't know about. Yeah. King of Wands, they could definitely have other sexual partners that are like friends with benefits that you don't know about. Pile three. I don't like saying stuff like that, but it is the truth. It's going to be, yeah, they're definitely hiding another person. I don't know if the other person is a Leo or a fire sign. But, um, they definitely have other sexual partners. Pile three. Yeah, they have other sexual partners for sure. Let me get my charger really quick. Okay, back. Yeah, this King of Wands could be a fire sign. King of Wands could have. Yeah, multiple people or other options are having. So yeah, the two of pentacles definitely. So the person is hiding is like another part, yeah. Another sexual partner, part three. And they could be hiding also that. Hmm. Ten of swords. Let's see what they're hiding from you. Person could be high in the fact that they're having trouble with picking an option, whether that's the, yeah, because it could be third party, yeah. They're trying, they're having a difficult time picking somebody, whether that's yeah, between you and another person. And I feel like it's very, very difficult with them. For the, it's really difficult for them with the ten of swords because I feel like they don't want to hurt either one of you guys. What I'm getting, and I feel like they're taking their sweet little fucking time with the knight of pentacles like they're, they're taking forever to take this to make a fucking choice with the two of pentacles underneath definitely but it's like they don't have a problem with fucking the both of you guys with the king of wands and the ace of wands like they'll, they'll be quick to fuck the both of you guys to come and fuck but it's like as far as like picking a choice they take their time with the knight of um pentacles but they're in this king of wands energy when they get really, really horny. It's like they like to manifest sex in a fun time. But it's like as soon as you or them or somebody gets feeling involved, it's like they kind of like stray away because they can't really. I feel like this person doesn't like to deal with stress and they don't like to deal with like maybe they, they have like some type of phobia where they feel like if they're in a relationship, they have to kind of like. I don't know, this person doesn't like accountability for other people, if that makes sense. So it's like this type of person or type of energy where it's like being in a relationship is like a task to them. I feel like this person likes to come in and out, like to have sex here and there, have fun. But as far as like taking accountability for your feelings, they don't like stuff like that. It's very like difficult for them. They'd rather not. So I feel like this is why it's so difficult to them, for them to make a choice. So I feel like with support all, is all around you, I feel like it's definitely your angels sending that message because i feel like they know and you know that you deserve more than that and i feel like as far as like having a real connection with them i don't feel like they're ready for that at all but they're ready like this person would pick up the phone to come and smash or whatever to have fun with it's a one it's all about new new energy it's about growth it's about movement it's about you know new sexual partners experiences um it's about energy like like a lot of energy like excitement so this person could be also hiding the fact that they're excited to see you and this person even if this is their party they could feel more excited to see you and this is what they're hiding because they feel like they don't want you to take advantage of that because maybe they're married or maybe they have a baby mom baby daddy or something like that somebody where it's like maybe they can't get rid of them maybe they 
they have a third party for life for some of you guys but some of you guys just other options that they don't take seriously and i feel like maybe that's to distract them from all the feelings that they have for you so it's like what they're hiding is like definitely another partner they could also be hiding like kids involved because i forgot to see the person they'd be hiding they have a baby on the way or they just had a baby like this person could have literally, literally just had a baby like somebody just gave birth like a month ago like their baby is a few months old whoa so they're hiding like a three month old baby two month old baby like their baby is only a couple months some of you the baby's walking already but it's like they're having they could be hiding the fact that they're not even sexually involved with their baby mom anymore but it's just like or their baby dad anymore but it's just like they get into arguments that they don't want to show you right now because maybe they're fearful that you won't yeah some of you they're just fearful that you'll walk away because you don't want any like baby mama dad baby daddy drama like you don't want to be around that because maybe you guys have been having a lot of fun and they don't want to mess that up so they would rather like keep it sex based until they figure out if you like them or not if this could go anywhere but for some of you it's definitely just the fact that they're taking like their time on making a decision if it's not a baby involved it's just they're taking their sweet little time to make a decision over you and another partner that they that they like they both find you like they both this king of wands wants to fancy the both of you guys or at least just wants to keep you know the both of you around whether that's you know this is just a actual friend no i think this is sexual yeah let me not it's sexual based like spirit wants me to like no it's sex based it's friends with benefits if it's a friend it's a friend with benefits they could be hiding the fact that they were telling you it was just a friend but it was friends with benefits definitely they could have been telling you that i was just a friend but it was a friend with benefits like they were fucking around with this friend and they were all in your some of you they was all in your face with it have posting her on their story and telling you it was just a friend nothing to worry about but they were smashing they smash from time to time um whether this person travels to see her or something like that but it's just like even if you've never seen her before it's like they were just there dealing with each other it might have even be having the fact that they got her pregnant recently if not that deep it's like they've been even talking about having a family together like but they come back to you and tell you that it's just strictly friends like they never even mess they don't even see her like that but they be laying in the bed talking about family what they want their kids to look like um how they like yeah like relationships like and I, this person could feel guilty about it but it's just like they're they don't feel guilty enough to stop doing it like i said they're quick to act on their hormones but when it comes to like their feelings and like picking a side, they want to play both sides of the field with this pal. Definitely. They're not even going to make a choice if they have to. Like even if you guys, one of you guys force this mask and pick a side, they're not going to pick a side. They could even be telling the other party that you're just a friend. And that they're just helping you out with certain things or something like that but they're definitely having sex with you too um for some of you guys this could have been like a one night stand that they accidentally fucked around with and now they feel horrible about it because it, the sex could have been horrible or they were drunk it was like drunk sex it wasn't even something that was meaningful they had condom sex or something like that it wasn't it was just something that they did just to do or to look cool for some of you they went out and partied and like smashed somebody that they had eyes for that looked physically attracted yeah look very physically attracted to them or they're just horny or both and it's like now they lost out on i don't know it's like they're hiding the fact that it's another person basically however i explain it in different scenarios it's just another person involved probably three that's what they're hiding or they're hiding the fact that they don't want an actual relationship but they're telling you that oh just they want you to be patient and stick around but still give them it's like this person wants their cake and eat it too like they want to be single but they want to act like you guys are together when you guys are together like it's just a momentarily thing for them and i don't feel like they really feel that guilty about it it's like if they don't get caught then it's like they're innocent you know what i mean it's like that slick type of energy where it's like they feel innocent as long as they don't get caught like they feel like they're not doing anything wrong as long as they're not you know caught red-handed it's like you don't have the proof for some of you guys i don't know 
feel like this person even if you caught i don't know it's like this person might not even get caught because they're so slick and in and out with the king of wands energy that's probably why you, you probably have like you probably feel anxiety around them maybe that there is a third party because this is right under so you could feel when you're around them you feel anxious or you feel like when you have sex with them and they come back something's different like the energy's off or you just feel like they've been around another female or you just when they pull away don't text you back or call you as fast as you want them to but they'll call and text you fast as fuck when they want to have sex so it's like you kind of got the intuition already that they're kind of like having their kicking they're having their way with you basically i feel like this person is hiding the fact that they want to have their way with you power three but i feel like this person might be a karmic soulmate where they're here to teach you and here to help you grow but it's like it's gonna be hella painful at first like you're gonna have like a lot of sleepless nights you're gonna want to check this person's page all the time you probably already do and you're probably still gonna be sexual with this person i'm not gonna lie but you're gonna you're gonna fall for their games um and want to have sex with them because you know you get horny too so it's like i don't know it's like if you want to keep this person around i would say you know have safe sex or at least just not put too many feeling too much feelings into this person because they're just not ready yet whether they're doing it to hurt you or not doing it to hurt you it's like this person giving me like a young king of wands where they're very like you know creative but they're like they want to explore their creativity in different places and areas and different people like they want to be expressive with different people or different options so as far as you like trying to like demand them to pick a side it's kind of going to make it like a put a strain on you guys' relationship if you want to keep this person in your life um you're gonna kind of have to go with the flow and do your own thing with this type of energy because it's like they're not willing to settle down right now yeah the king of wands is all about a single energy this person wants to be single so don't let them come around you and act like you guys are in a relationship you're gonna have to like kind of like stay on your ground and also like give this person boundaries because of what they're hiding is that they don't actually want a relationship they want to play it's kind of like they want to play like they're in a relationship like that childish stuff like they want what they want sexually and everything else but they want to be taken care of but at the same time they're not they turn around and not taking care of your emotions they're leaving you in this two of pentacles energy where you just don't know what they want you don't have you don't know how they truly feel about you yeah so it's like what they're hiding from you is that they are acting single out here in these streets like they be telling people that they're single that's another thing they could be hiding. Like when they go out, they're having completely fun, but you're like waiting for them at home or waiting for a text or a call. And they're all at the club meeting new women, new men, courting new women, like whenever they go out and telling these women that they're fucking single. And then they only talk to you when they want to talk to you. They, act, they could also be, they could be hiding the fact that they're not really fucking busy. They're not as busy as they're saying that they're fucking busy. They're acting like they're fucking busy. They're not busy. That's another thing they could be hiding is how busy they actually are. They're not busy to the point where they can't call you and get in contact with you. This person could go ghost for like a day or two or a whole day and then they come back and like, oh, I was busy doing this and that. You're not that busy. This person likes you genuinely. They would... You know, you would, they would text you, let you know what they're doing, call you, FaceTime you, something. This person is not putting in the effort, but they put in the effort when they, when they want to see you, when they want to put up with you, when they want to take accountability. That this person just puts you on a shelf and leaves and then takes you off the shelf when they want to play with you, when they want to deal with you, which is very like selfish as fuck, very inconsiderate energy. Um, so I would probably just. If you want to keep them in your life, do them how you do you. Only talk to them when you feel like talking to them. Don't compromise for them. Don't rush and pick up the phone. Don't text them back fast, you know, because they're not doing it for you. I would just treat them how they treat you. If you treat people how you want to be treated, but like treat them how they're treating you. <laughs> if that makes sense, don't treat them how you want to be treated because they're definitely not giving you that in return. But it's like treat them how they treat you. Like, don't give them more. Don't give them the maximum if they're giving you the minimum. Like, don't give them... Make them work for your pussy. Make them work for your time. 
make them work for you to be around you don't be so um accessible to them because they're taking it for granted definitely they're taking it for granted they feel like you'll stay around stick around the person's very like confident and like they feel like they can just like come and go whenever they want because you'll always be there type of energy like on they got you on the shelf type of energy just waiting for them type of energy and this could have been true but it's just like i feel like you should be more considerate of your time and your chi your sexual energy be selfish with it be more like to yourself don't let them get it so easily so yeah that's what i have for you pow three if it did resonate please like comment subscribe and i'll see you in my next post